Hey everyone and welcome back to exercise 3 of homework 1 of this class called CIS 194. Um, today's episode will be super short and I do want to make an amendment to um, last episode which is I forgot to get rid of this comment and this is one of the reasons why I, I truly dislike introducing comments into my code because they can easily get out of date. Um, notice that it's no longer true that this function simply blindly doubles every element starting with the first because I'm taking in this boolean now, so let's get rid of that comment. And let's all make a mental note to um, only use comments when it's absolutely necessary. Anyways, um, exercise three is some digits. Takes a list of integers and returns a single integer. The reason why today's episode is going to be so simple is because it's already a function in the prelude that does exactly this. And that function is called sum. Oops. And the way I see it, there's no point in reinventing the wheel, um, and this can be reduced. Um, so, I suppose I should show you some, whoa, that's kind of funky, I've never seen that before. Um, oh, this is just a Vim plugin that um, changes some things like undefined to Unicode symbols. I've never seen the sum one, though, that's kind of cool, huh? Um, anyways, um, here are some ways you can roll your own sum. So you can do this a recursive way where um, my base case is zero. In other words, the sum of an empty list is zero. And the sum of some n cons onto n's is n plus some digits on n's. Hopefully that makes sense. All I'm doing is taking the head of the list and adding it to the sum of the tail. And this is eventually going to hit the base case, which will be zero. Um, and then it will sort of propagate back and sum the entire list. And this can also be expressed with a fold. Well, um, and I always forget the order of the arguments here. Uh, show you left fold. Left fold takes a function from A to B to A. Sort of confusing, but you'll see why in a moment. And it also takes an A and a list of B and returns an A. So how can you make any sense of this? Well, if you treat A like the accumulator type and B, the list of B, would be your basically your initial list. Then your function takes your current accumulator and one element off of that list and combines them to form a new accumulator. And at that point your list of B will be one shorter and you'll repeat the process passing in your new accumulator and the next element in B returning a new accumulator so that finally when all of B is consumed you'll have one value of type A left and you seed the thing with this A right here so in a fold this function right here is plus and the type of plus 
is just it combines two a's into one a so that's okay um, we could we could change we could have different types here for the accumulator in the list in this case we don't so I hope I went slow enough so that, that made some sense but um, first we have our our combining function I'll call it our associative binary function and next comes our initial accumulator so for a sum it makes sense that this is zero um, so that the first call to this function will do zero plus some element from my list and store that into a and so on Oops. and my list is just my ends and that compiles so it works and I can reduce this down so you may have seen this before that sum equals a left fold of plus c to its zero and there's also a variation on fold l I believe it's fold l tick oh sorry fold l1 and what fold l1 oops sorry I keep on going to the wrong screen fold l1 is very similar but instead of taking a function from a to b to a it takes a function from a to a to a and there is no accumulator so how does the thing get seeded well it gets seeded with the head or yep uh, yep it's the well, maybe it's the tail left fold yeah the tail um, of the list so that is why you can't have different types here because it's using an element from the list as the accumulator so some can also be expressed as fold l1 of plus and just to give you a sort of diagram of what's going on here fold l of plus on the list like one two three basically does zero plus one oops get the accumulator in here plus two plus three whereas fold l1 of plus on one two three does one plus two plus three all right so those are a few ways of defining um, sum thanks for watching There, oh, there it is.